Imagine running Windows 11 seamlessly inside your Mac, no dual boot, no switching OS, just pure performance on a virtual machine. Today I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. But before we dive into the installation, let me give you a sneak peek at what you can expect. On the left, we have the benchmarks for a native installation of Windows on the latest i3 processor. On the right, we have Windows 11 running virtually on a MacBook Air with the M2 chip. Remarkably, the virtualized Windows 11 outperforms the i3 in single core scores and offers solid competition overall. That's make a big deal, not a gimmick. Despite running virtually, everything is snappy, from Chrome web browsing to YouTube. I even tried installing GTA, but due to the ARM processor, it didn't work out. For this setup, I allocated 3 GB of RAM and 64 GB of storage. You can also access USB ports within this virtual environment, as demonstrated here, this USB drive works seamlessly. Insert your USB selected in UTM. Done. It will appear in Windows. Although this is a bootable drive, that's why it is red. Another cool feature is that you can access your Mac storage from within the virtual windows. Now, let's get to the installation. First, download the Windows 11 ARM package and UTM from the links in the video description. I've already got them, so let me quickly open UTM. Once UTM is running, create a new virtual machine by clicking the plus icon. Choose Virtualize since we're working with the ARM version of Windows 11. Next, select Windows. Ensure that the Import VHDX image option is checked, as well as the Install Drivers and Spice Tools option. These are essential for the Windows installation. Select your downloaded Windows package and click Continue. This is a crucial step allocate at least 2 GB of RAM, I'm giving it 3 GB. If you want to access files from your host machine, browse and select the desired directory here. I'm setting up shared storage for my documents, then continuing. You can customize other settings like storage, but I'm sticking with the defaults. Save your configuration. It may take a moment to create the virtual machine. done, Windows 11 has been successfully created. Now launch it and proceed with the setup. The first installation will take some time, so I'll fast forward this part for you. We're now on the Windows 11 setup page. Before you proceed, you'll need to disable the internet connection, or you might get stuck like this. Press FN Shift F10 to open the command prompt. Then enter the command provided in the description. Hit enter, and your Windows will reboot. Now complete the installation as shown and wait. Finally, Windows has booted. You might see a warning ignore it. I'll provide the latest Windows 11 beta link in the description, or you can download the latest version directly from Microsoft's website. 
we're almost done. To fix the blurry, outdated aspect ratio, open File Explorer, navigate to the CD drive of UTM, and install the guest tools. This will automatically resolve all the issues. That's it for this video on installing Windows 11 on a Mac. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this content, please hit the like button.